No, it's a bit of a one-two punch we're going to be dealing with here. First, the thunderstorms here this afternoon and evening and kind of overnight, and then the tumbling temperatures uh, coming. come tomorrow. Yeah. Start off with the storms, though. Here's a live look at TrueView Radar, and you notice the yellow shaded area across the state line in southern Illinois. That's a severe thunderstorm watch. No severe weather in central Indiana as of right now, but we do have a pretty good thunderstorm that just went through the Terre Haute area. It's now moving towards Brazil with quite a bit of lightning, a little bit of small hail, and some wind gusts over 50 miles per hour. And it's moving off towards the northeast at about 35 miles per hour. So that'll put it into Brazil shortly and eventually over towards the Rockville area and then eventually towards Russell as we get towards the top of the hour. And then also up towards Lafayette, we have some very heavy rainfall that just went through downtown Lafayette. This is pushing off towards the northeast as well. And it's just now started to pick up a little bit of lightning. None of these storms, again, are severe, but lightning obviously makes any storm dangerous. And then just a few spotty storms in Grant County as well as Blackford County. But here's the bigger picture. You notice some storms still streaming in from southern Illinois. The cold front is still off to our west. So as we go throughout the evening hours here, I think all our storms will be pretty spotty in nature. And the best chance of some stronger storms is across the western half of the state where the Storm Prediction Center does have us under the slight risk for severe weather. And as far as those risks go for probably about the next hour or two, wind is by far the main threat, obviously lightning associated with it. And there could be some very small hail as well. And you notice here on TrueCast, the storms, again, very spotty body through about 10 o'clock this evening. Most of the storms on the western side of the state. But once we get past the midnight hour, a more organized line of storms is going to form. And these storms will not be severe after midnight. But again, there could be some wind and also some heavy rainfall and maybe a little bit of thunder that'll wake you up. And these showers stick with us throughout the morning commute tomorrow. And then as we progress throughout Friday, the showers become a lot more scattered in nature. But the problem on Friday is going to be the falling temperatures and the wind that is going to kick up. So by Friday evening, we're talking about temperatures in the 50s with kind of a windswept light rain and those gusts over 30 miles per hour. So say goodbye to the 80s. We will not see these for quite some time. You notice the cooler air already starting to filter in just a little bit. And here's your forecast for tomorrow. Starting around 63 degrees, we'll hit our high around noon of 66, but already by 5 p.m., temperatures falling into the 50s. Wind chill values with those 30 mile per hour winds are going to be eventually down in the 40s. So if you're heading to some high school football games, make sure you bundle up and have that parka handy uh, for both the cold and also some showers that'll remain. And then the weekend, guys, very chilly. Lows both Saturday and Sunday, only in the 30s. High temperatures in the 50s and not a lot of sunshine. All right, fair warning. Todd, thanks.